this off. Semi-final number one. Here we go. Skins is going to be in the home uniforms. And in the white uniforms, the road version will be goes. And he'll take this out past the 20-yard line. And brought down at the 23. Goes is going to come in that West Coast offense. You'll see quite a bit of bunch there. Uh, he does have the 92 Vic. It um, does not have any uh, like abilities on him whatsoever. No gunsling, no conductor, anything of that nature. Uh, defensively for skins, uh, he's actually going to go with the multi-book. Um, just, just really feels most comfortable. He said he wants to run some nickel normal and dollar are going to be two things he said he's going to be in defense in most. So ball to 23. Second and ten, here for goes. Portnick get off to a good start here. And he'll check it down to the 28-yard line. That's going to make it third and manageable. Needs to get out past the 33. Misspoke there. Steve Young with no abilities is going to be the quarterback for goes and a Vic with no abilities for skins. Uh, both players are going to go with base elites or base power-ups that have been, uh, neither one have full power-ups on either one of them. Uh, wanted to save cap and use it elsewhere. Goes is going to have to have an early decision to make fourth and one, and he hurries up to it. Well, we see the hurry up work sometimes. And he goes to the air on fourth and one. He might be able to use his legs, but why not? You got a wide open Julio Jones at the 40 yard line. That'll move the chains. Yeah, Julio just wide open underneath there. No one came with him on the drag. Good pitch and catch there. Uh, the only ability you're going to see on the wide receivers for goes are is an Amari Cooper who he's got on the deep route specialist, which probably means you'll see him in the slot more often than not in this West Coast playbook. So a new set of downs here at the 40. And hey, sometimes it just goes your way, and that's a gain of six on a tip pass. Both players hold their breath after this one. It almost looks like it went off a helmet. Uh, and it's exactly what happened. Went off one of the defensive linemen or offensive linemen's helmets. No harm, no foul. Grabbed by Goes. Good click on, good user catch there so the ball doesn't keep tipping around. Uh, is Goes using Gunslinger? You got the... Nothing. No Gunslinger, right, no sometimes anything. Sometimes when you're using Gunslinger, it comes out a little low sometimes. Almost like uh, Mortal Kombat. I'm rooking out of your hands. Uh, but this time just happens to catch one of the domes of the right defensive end there. Besides Amari on that deep route specialist, he does have the max sprinter chemistry, so he does have plus two speed on all of his players, uh, but nothing else out there. No defensive abilities, no gunsling, nothing like that. Boy, this is just dirty with Jerry Rice coming all the way across the field on a drag. That should tell you how much time he has right now in the pocket. Absolutely too much time. Uh, looks like only five coming about every play for skins here. Uh, if you can continue to send five, you're going to have to mix up the pressure from different sides, however. Don't let goes just roll out to the same side every time. And I'm okay with Ben don't break. As, as long as you can hold the three and you're confident enough that you could put up seven more often than your opponent, it's not a bad strategy. Absolutely. But this is going to be the first time that Skins has had to go up against the number two rated passing offense in all of club championship ladder play. Only one person averaged more yards through the air than goes. And it wasn't Kiv. It was not. So third and 11 at the 40-yard line. Just outside field goal range. You got the bunch to the right. Solo left. They're going to flip the script on that. So Rice will be solo to the right side of your screen. Leonard Fournette off to the right of Steve Young. Big down here in this opening drive. Picks up the blitz. Has time. Looking downfield. Has a man. And... Overthrew him. Couldn't get that second foot down for Amari Cooper. And here's fourth down. Ten cap Dan Bailey with only 79 kick power for goes. He's already went for it on one fourth down. Would make no sense for him not to. And, of course, you see him in the patented bunch. Boy, that was just a late read. It should have been an easy first down downfield in the red zone. Now he's going to face fourth and 11 from the 40. Needs to get really to the 28-yard line. That's time again. And has a man, a low throw, and somehow holds on at the 19-yard line for Jerry Rice. Great job with the low pass mechanic here. Put it somewhere where only your wide receiver can get it. Just dropping that little hole of the trio of coverage there. Ghost has made that pass probably 4,000 times before this season. Detroit! Detroit! So first and 10 at the 19. It's just... 
Skins is sending that same crossfire loop every time. I haven't seen him make a single adjustment. I understand it's still the first drive, but a lot of players on that first drive will want to make the most adjustments. Right. They want to see what they can put out there that tends to slow goes down the most. And right now, it's just sending five with the same crossfire coming from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. You're not going to beat someone as seasoned as goes running that play every single down. Well, I'm hoping he's got goal line D because he's been bending all the way down the field, and it'll be Hurst. That pushes his way in. Long hair, don't care. He's in there for six. And you see that near or you see that far, and you got to anticipate the halfback inside coming. That's exactly what we saw out of Hayden Hurst there, and he just bullied his way into the end zone. Too big. Pinning the extra point. We're going to have a 7 nothing ball game. Even in the NFL nowadays, for some reason, extra points aren't a guarantee. When they move that thing back, uh, they really mess with some heads. You can see Hurst just powering in there. Yeah, and even got hit in the backfield there. Two-yard run, he got three yards after contact. That's when you know that you are ready to move that football. All right, now for Skins. He's going to have to prove that he can have a powerful enough offense, the same as goes. And I, I'm not seeing that based on the stats, but that doesn't mean that that is not the case. The young man from Tampa, Florida, is going to be having his first chance at it down 7 right. Uh Seattle playbook for Skins. Uh, first time I have seen that this competitive season. Uh, again, going to go with a playmaker Odell. Loves the short route running there. Said he's probably going to keep him on little baby hitches, drags, to be able to keep him and control him at the line of scrimmage there. Uh, Goes is going to counter that with the Giants defensive playbook. Uh, Goes again went with the hitter strategy. Uh, his secondary is going to be Ed Reed, Steve Atwater, Brian Dawkins, and legend Sean Taylor. Well, how fitting it is for the Washington Redskins Club Championship to see Sean Taylor out there, somebody that can really affect a game at any level. Tevin Coleman in the backfield, more of a budget pick there. Uh, going to be about the lowest cap running back that you can get to meet some of those spin thresholds and can still carry the ball. But right there, Troy Apke, the biggest bargain player in all of salary cap football. Mr. Irrelevant, the very well, no, um, the fourth round pick, I believe he was, yeah. for us this year. Uh, last uh, defensive player we took off the board uh, and actually made a name for himself I'm for the hearing, this year. I'm already hearing us's. I'm already hearing we's. I have no clue what you're talking about. The this, this is broadcasting 101, my friend. I mean, there's no us's and we's. What, what position do you play? The Redskins conglomerate. <laughs> <laughs> Loves to see Troy Apke making those kind of plays. <laughs> there you go. Second and 21. Hey, when you got the skills, you can ball. I mean, speed. Speed covers up a multitude of mistakes, especially in the NFL in the current rule set. Vic will check it down to Odell Beckham Jr. First time I've seen him in the entire club championship. Salary cap, that means you're going to put... Anybody that you want on the team, the two Redskins that you'll see for, I believe, every one of these competitors in this club series will be Apke and Sean Taylor. Third and 14. Trailing by seven. And hasn't been a good start. Kittle, Hill, Beckham over on the left. And he motions in Randy Moss. Vic. Downfield, Randy. One hand grab, pulls it in at the 49. Usually we see a Julio Jones, but Randy Moss can do it as well. We talk about that over the middle. You can throw in coverage and still feel comfortable that he can haul it in. Randy, one of the greatest jump ball wide receivers in all of the game. I'm sure every Redskins quarterback would have loved to be able to have 84 on their field. I think any quarterback. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I can't think of a quarterback be like, nah, no Randy Moss. He, I, I could do without him. Name the city, name the league. They'll take him. Second and 10. See a lot of crossers on the field for Skins here. And I like that he's using this, that little baby hitch to his Odell underneath those two crossing routes. And then even turns him into a lead blocker there. He keeps Ed Reed occupied the entire time there. He knows Ed Reed can't leave that drag route because then he just has a chance to fire it and pick up even more yards. Good pick up there. So 7-0, some key plays, especially late in the series for Skins. Seems to, as closer you get to fourth down, the better he gets. And a nice little corner route there to Moss. 
And he all of a sudden, he's down at the 27. He's three for three for 50 yards with Vic. Probably the most classic route combination. Your bottom level is a flat route. Your mid-level is a corner route. Your deep route's a go route. And it's going to be hard for just about any zone to keep up with that. Couldn't agree more. Second and four from the 21. Hill Moss Beckham off on the bunch to the left. Goes has got one safety deep here, showing just a cover one look. Boy, not much pressure, and does a good job just checking it down for the first down at the 16-yard line. That's Odell Beckham Jr. Showed only one safety over the top, then dropped three people into deep thirds. Good adjustment there. Didn't confuse Skins, though. He saw the empty flat route, and he threw it. Handed off to Tevin Coleman. Get to the 14, so it'll be a second and eight. No defensive chemistries for goes on this side of the ball. Uh, no lockdown, maxed out, nothing along those what lines. What do you think of this formation here, Grocery? Second and eight. Something that I haven't seen. He's spreading them all the way out, though. He's got the angle right out there of the backfield. There you go. And that angle route cleared a lot of space for him. Goes had the user can go guard that route, which just left the middle of the field wide open. At least three Great play inches. design. You see on the slide, it's where he starts going down there. So he needs a, a pretty much an inch to get a new set of downs here. But what looks Struggleville early in this drive, he's really got lathered in. And that offense is rocking and rolling. Got his feet back underneath him here. And you notice you're taking a little bit of time before he gets in there. I believe he might have switched that ball carrier setting over to conservative. Probably going to see a run here. Wouldn't be surprised if in those quick audibles he just put in the sneak, the dive, the toss, everything. And it's a fullback dive right up the middle. It's going to pick up just enough. No, not quite enough. Let's do it again. This is why they put you in the color commentary role instead of the play-by-play -play role. Throwing a touchdown right there. <laughs> That's an easy one. <laughs> he needs another inch. Got absolutely nothing. And he's going to kick the three here. And I'm, I'm not saying this is wrong. I think it's early in this game. First possession of the game, you want to get some points. You want to get feel confident. You don't want to go down and have an incredible drive, drive 80 yards down the field just to turn it over on fourth and inches. So seven to three. Goes had a heck of a drive down the field and Skins had to sort of matriculate, but ends up getting the three points. And we got a four point ball game and Goes will get it for the second time today. Good hit there. I think if your goes here, I mean, you have the ability. I know you have the skill set to run this 252 off the clock. Yeah, he, he can milk the ball without actually having to run it. He has a lot of short routes at his disposal. You may see a little West, a real West Coast offense, a little deep dunk, and play true to the name. See a little swing to the outside, makes one man miss. And Ed Reed has to come up and makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. See if he can waste as much of that clock as he wants to and make Bill Walsh proud. I'm okay with attacking Dion, especially when you're talking about attacking him with four net. That's a matchup I like. Does look like Skins is starting to mix up where he's bringing that pressure from there. That was the first time I seen him come off the left side. It didn't generate quick pressure, but it did generate enough of a block shed that he still gets goes. Second and nine at the 37, and I think he'll take this to the two minute warning. Just not enough time, not enough room. As soon as he tries to move up in the pocket, the defensive tackle also gets a block shed. The speed coming from the outside, and the defensive tackle stood in his way. A little half sack for each. And he will take it to the two-minute warning with a four-point lead. Just his second possession. Both of our competitors really taking their time on their opening drives. Bunch to the right. He'll flip the script. Fournette off to the right now. Young, comfortable in the pocket. And there is Cooper. Lucky he didn't get stripped there by Reed. Ed Reed does everything he can to rip that ball out. First time we have seen the A-gap and the outside pressure. So here on the second drive, Skin's doing a much better drive of switching it up. I like what I'm seeing so far from both competitors. Yeah, sort of a base defense on that first drive. Trying to bend, don't break, but now he's... Trying to make it at least goes uncomfortable in the pocket. That's a hard thing to do as he steps into that throw and picks up another first down. In field goal range. Very close to another fumble as well. 
Uh, but as you see, goes. he's seen most of these blitzes before. This is Dollar that skins is in right now. He's, sometimes he's showing the crossfire look. Sometimes he's showing the outside heat look. Sometimes he's mixing in a little bit of both. It's a little bit of a chess match between these two right now. Big block. Yeah, look at Khalil Mack doing what Khalil Mack does. There's a tackle for loss to make it second and 11. Now, Skins did tell me his favorite player on the team right now is Ryan Kerrigan, and I'm sure Ryan would be proud to see the block shed that Khalil Mack just got in that jersey. So that'll bring up a second and 11. Young hits Hurst in the flats, who already has a rushing touchdown in this game. And here comes the hurry up. We've seen him do that last time. It's the second defender he's ran over as well. Hurst has been doing good work for Ghost so far. So third and four, 25 seconds left all of a sudden in the half. You blinked, where did this first half go? Young, with time, has a throw, and he will get out of bounds at the 12-yard line. So he has two timeouts and 16 seconds to go. And Goes was just waiting to see which one of these routes he was gonna use or guard. Whichever one got more space after they crossed each other was who he threw it to. Skins is going to go ahead and use one of his timeouts here. Didn't like what he came at it on defense. So first and 10 at the 12. Maybe two shots at it. And don't think he got out of bounds, so he'll have to burn a timeout with 10 seconds to go. Didn't quite get out there. That's one timeout that you want to be able to keep in your back pocket. If you've got two, you've got a little bit more of a chance to uh, threaten them with the run. Fournette's a little bit more of an option if you've got two timeouts. He can. St That's a dangerous pass in front of that spy. Very, very dangerous. It's a great high pass, and it's a great jump from Hurst, who now has two touchdowns. But that spy was standing right there, and that was about a millimeter away from being a pick in the end zone. And I'll be, I'll be honest with you, Groshi. That's the difference between... The, the top 50 player and the top five player. Finishing a half just like that. Yeah, and that was two and a half minutes. That was an absolute wonderful drive. He knew exactly how much time he had, and even with not getting out of bounds on that last play, was still able to get the animation that he wanted in the end zone. Looks like you're going to see a heave to the end zone here for Skins. Uh, just back everybody up, as everyone knows, to run prevent defense here. And that's exactly what goes will do. Four seconds here for Skins. And boy, is this opening drive to start the next half is going to be gigantic. Needs a miracle right here, though. Hey, one-on-one -on -one opportunity here with Coleman. He's a speedster. And here comes the rest of the defense to end the first half. 14-3 in favor of Goes. And what you see Goes do here is just strafe his defender back and not allow him to miss anything. Just keep him slowed down enough so his teammates can come and help finish that tackle off for him. Good job there of not letting that one-on-one -on -one matchup get you beat. Sanders. Cross the 25 to maybe the 31-yard line. This is everything for Skins. You need at least three. You got to make this a one-score game and hope that something goes your way in trying to stop the juggernaut known as Goes. His offense has looked pretty proficient so far. He's in the bunch tight end, um, which we don't see as much of. A lot of people prefer the normal bunch. Uh, he likes the ability to get those corner routes on the line of scrimmage to Kittle and take advantage of those. Remember, these guys are playing for the opportunity to represent the Washington Redskins out in San Francisco at the club championship, something that goes one last year. Not only is he the defending Washington Redskins club champion, he's the overall defending club championship, as we mentioned before, beating problem in the final at the Super Bowl in Minnesota last year. Skins tried there. My favorite solo battles play. PA all crosses, block that tight end, and let's just hope somebody gets wide open. Good defense from Goes, but I do like the play call. So third and three at the 38. It's my score right now, Grosh. I don't know why I got the feeling, but it just feels that way. And he finds Coleman for the first down. Coleman out of the backfield. That time goes locked up that route combination on the uh, left side of the field. He put that same flat corner deep combination. That time goes was ready for it. However, his adjustments leave the middle of the field wide open, and Coleman takes advantage. 
So 14 to three. Now at the 44 yard line, he needs a big play. I mean, I appreciate the patience right now because we're still early in the second half. But you know, he just needs something to go his way. A broken tackle, a, a, a missed tackle in the secondary. Yeah, he's letting goes bring that safety. The last play, the furthest safety was about nine yards off the line of scrimmage, and now it's only about six or seven. Maybe the time to take a chance up top. So second and six. Gets it to Hill. And that's down to the 30 yard line. And that route gives just enough room. It's made really by the streak route is what made that route possible. The streak route kept those safeties back. They had to respect the speed of Moss. Hands it off to Coleman again just to keep him honest. And now he'll go to the hurry up. Skins hasn't gotten much out of the running the, uh, game, but he has had to keep goes honest. He's not letting goes just sell out completely to the pass. Three minutes to go in the third. Trailing by 11. Got to be careful. You want to stick in field goal range here, too. I mean, at, at the very least, you got to make it an eight-point game. Here comes the blitz and a nice throw in that direction. And Hill will pick up the first down. Just a simple, in uh, looks like maybe even a slant route there. Uh, anything he does there gets underneath. Tyree Kill taking hits is always a little scary. Late spin move gets him hit, but he holds onto the ball and gets that first down. Going that way again. This time it's Odell Beckham Jr. who takes a big hit. Tries to spin away, ends up getting caught with a hit stick. Field really shrinks here, so some of these uh, route combinations, because uh, he has a lot of stuff that develops down the field. He's got a lot of intermediate and deep routes, not as much short stuff besides to Odell. So let's see if they can focus in on that and make another weapon beat him. No Fournette in there on this one. It's Mays going to spell the big fella. And that's where he was going to go. But there was no, not enough time for that route to develop. And Goes lets him hear it. Loss of four yards there. Just too much pressure from the left side. If one didn't get him, the second or the third defender was there to clean it up. Little shotgun big out of skins here. We haven't seen that this game. Yeah, on third down, slings it. And once again, he just continuing to move the chains. But now, this is where you make your money. You're in the red zone. It's first and goal. You got to prove that you can put it in there. Odell right now, everything is just underneath, underneath, underneath. It's the thousand paper cut offense right now. Hands it off to Coleman. Neither players had a ton of success running the ball. Both of them look uh, much better with the ball in the air than they do on the ground. Kittle looks like he may have an advantage with a safety here. Vic looking, finds Odell Beckham Jr. And he'll take it to the four yard line. Must have liked something he saw there. He wanted to get that defense back on the field immediately so he can attack it. Drops back, looking. This is a big third down. And Vic, that is a dangerous throw, but it pays off. Touchdown, Skins. Vic just throws it across his body there. The left-handed quarterback really helps out there, though, because that's the only quarterback that's going to get that throw done. He doesn't have to spin around and set his feet, and he's going to go for two to try to make this a three-score, excuse me, a three-point game. Boy, Coleman is trying to catch his breath. I don't know if you can see him. And we're going to have a false start. He was trying to get to that one-yard line. Absolutely. You know what I mean? If he could get the aggression, he knew maybe he could sneak it with Vic. But take a look at this throw again. Trying to catch Ghost cheating there, putting his pass rush on aggressive. A lot of competitive players don't like to see that. You'll see a lot of fake snaps there just to keep your opponent honest. So 14 to 10. 101 to go in the third. Cooper will take it out of his own end zone. Here for Ghost. Uh, gets away from one. Uh, they're going to get him back at the 21-yard line. That's good kick coverage there by Skins. Goes only up four points here. Gives Skins a chance to again play that bend, don't break. 
You're um, at this point, um, of course, you don't want to give up any points, but you're even satisfied with only giving up a field goal because you can keep it that single score game. He's been playing the bend, don't break all game. I'd like to see him maybe turn up the blitz a little bit more. Goes seem to have a little bit of a problem handling that heat from both the A gap and the outside. First and 10. Steps, throws, hit out of bounds. And he's going to face a second and 10. Couldn't get those feet in bounds. In that time out of the dollar formation, he sent the pressure off of both edges. Nothing up the middle. Doing a really good job of mixing it up right now. And gets down at the 29 for Cooper. So it's going to be a third and short. Maybe the biggest down of the game thus far. If Skins can come up with a big play here. Looks like Ghost prefers the bunch on the weak side on all the shorter downs. And that'll be enough for the first down. That'll move the chains out at the 32. But Skins is making it really tough on Goes right now. Definitely. And what that is is a little bit of movement. You, you get Skins' eyes moving. You get him worried about the left side of the field because you just flip that bunch. Then you go ahead and hit the table route to the right side of the field. It's a good job of uh, mixing that in, keeping the eye levels, you know, just like your professional quarterbacks will look off a safety just to get them off balance. Goes doing the same kind of idea there by switching that formation then attacking the opposite side. So that's the end of the third. Five minutes left in the ball game to see who's going to be in the final. Goes 14, skins 10. Semifinal number two coming up soon with Techers and Legend. And Hurst, get off of me. That's going to be a first down out of the 44-yard line. Skins went ahead and sent six that time, both outside, all three of his linemen, and the looper from the middle. Goes is able to hit the flats, which is exactly what you have to do when you're under that kind of pressure. Going to flip the bunch here. Barking out orders as Steve Young here for goes. Had a clean pocket for most of the game, and he gets out of there this time. No spy, and that's going to move it into plus territory at the 41. And, and you notice again, goes is starting to use a little more time off that play clock, starting to milk it out a little bit more. Good job of just not taking any hits there by Steve Young. No reason to take any unnecessary hit sticks. So that makes it first and 10. Inside Skins territory. Both these guys, huge Redskins fans. And with the tradition of the Raj Washington's Redskins, I mean, who could blame them? And that's going to be a big time grab at the 15. Keeps himself inbounds as well. She's going to keep that clock moving. It's been a meticulous drive so far for this. This is the time for Skins. Can't bend and break anymore. You're in the red zone. You got to step up and make a play with your user. Does a nice job stepping up and cutting that off. And that forces Young out of the pocket. He's going to have to be careful here. You might have to dedicate a spy here in this next 11 yards. You wonder if he's remembering the last time he had a spy on the field in this spot and it got thrown directly over. You wonder if that's still in the back of his mind anywhere. Young. That time the spy makes the play, forces a tackle as soon as he catches the ball, just to gain a one there. So third and four. Got to have a stop here for your skins. You notice skins got out of the dollar, went to the nickel look. He's got one safety way back there, so you're going to have one high safety here on third down. The throw, the catch, touchdown goes, and that is huge because that puts him up. Two scores. Looks like that might have been the second curl route he was able to score with in the end zone. Both about the same pass, the same route to both of them. Amari just gets into the back of the end zone, strafes up, settles down, goes up. A little two-footed vertical jump there. Lifts it up to Mays. Takes it from the 24, and he'll lie down at the 41. Still time here. You got all three timeouts. You got 250. You just need a touchdown or a field goal here, and then you're going to need a stop or an onside kick. And not only do you want the score, you also want to be able to score without having to use a timeout. You want to keep the two-minute 
in theory, you want to keep the two-minute warning for your free timeout as well. You're looking to score within 50 seconds without using a timeout. That's best-case scenario for Skins right now. Picking up the blitz, but no, can't get everybody. There's Curse. Curse comes off the edge. Goza's team is made for pass rush and for hitters in the secondary. And this is the reason why. When people have to throw the ball, he can let people like Curse pin their ears back and go directly at that Vic with no gunslinger and put him under a little bit of pressure. Second and 23. You see the motion from OBJ. Vic. Boy, here's the heat again. Third and it's going to be real long, it looks like. Third and 30 for Skins right here. And again, just another player untouched. He blitzed him from a, a little bit further back there, so the offensive line didn't have time to recognize him. The offensive linemen all went ahead and engaged in their blocks, which left him to come in on his own. Third and 30. Play action. Throw, and that'll get a little bit. No, he dropped it. Boy, he looked like he had it and then took a big shot. And now it's fourth and forever. What's, what feels like fourth and tournament for Skins here, I'm sure. Yeah, this might be fourth in the game right here. He's played goes really tough. Just haven't been able to come up with any red zone stops. He's anticipating pressure from the left. He went ahead and ID'd the uh, nickel back out there. Indeed, he does come in. But we got to watch from the other side. They call him Curse because that, that's what you do when he gets that block shed. That was, it, he had all his focus on oh that left goodness. side of the line. You could just tell. And Curse that's just more than a block one. shed. Oh, yeah, one-on-one. <laughs> -on -one, you're not going to stop that man. So a turnover on downs, and now it's all up to goes. You could hold him to a three here. I mean, things could still happen. You're going to have to use all three timeouts. You're going to have to hold him to a field goal, make it a two-score game. Then you have to score twice with an onside kick in there, so the Madden Gods is going to have to help him out the rest of the way. I twins. Goes as in his milk the clock offense here. Goes back to four nets, spins to the inside. Double spin cycle, and there's another timeout by Skins with 1.47 to go. Skins doing everything he can here. You just don't want, to, uh, don't want to get too, too aggressive here trying to cause a turnover and end up with not enough help in the secondary to stop some of these just rocket routes, really, that Goes has been putting on the field. Third and 11, there's a sack. Use its final timeout. Just sending three there. Still generated enough pressure just right up the A gap. That D tackle just pushed two grown men further back into their own quarterback. So this will be a 35 yarder for Goes to go up 14. Two full scores, and it's up and it's good. And if you've seen that at home, Goes was holding his kick, just taking time. As soon as he seen the skins had clicked off of his eligible player to make that block, he immediately let go of that to get the kick up because he knew that he was not going to get it blocked because skins was not in position to do so. And Mays once again will lay down at the 34. So 24 to 10. You're down 14 with 96 seconds left in the ball game. Zero timeouts. It's going to take a lot here. He's going to have to take a lot of shots at the end zone early. If you score here, you want to give yourself a chance to get the onside kick and get the ball back with at least 40 seconds. Going to have to go the air now. Pits up the blitz. And a good find right there. Can't get a foot in bounds. Don't think he got that right foot down. It's going to be Had very clear right here, him coming down with that right foot. Right there on the white. So 130 to go. You can hear a pin drop in here. Definitely some tension in the building. You're going to see skins in a formation. We haven't seen him in much this game. Little Y trips. Vic. Has to check down. OBJ can't make a man miss. And now here comes valuable time off the clock. I like that he doesn't hurry up here. I, 
That's one of the Madden moves. It's, sometimes it's much easier to go back into the huddle, pick a play. You'll find that you actually save time and you have a better play. Quite often. About the only time I would, about the only time that I don't recommend that is if you're trying to uh, do so for a field goal. What kick. a pass. Oftentimes when you are doing that uh, and you try to immediately get to that, uh, you just you end up hitting the A button a little early and maybe you don't come out in that field goal. You get a little antsy. That's right. What a pass to Y here. Just running away from Amos is Randy Moss. Needs two touchdowns. Makes it a bunch strong look here. Looking to flood that left side, perhaps. Vic goes back to Randy Moss, but knocked away. That was Josh Jones back in coverage. One of the more popular bargain picks of anyone there. Got great hit power and great speed for as low of a cap as he is there. And you see where he can even compete with some of the greatest on this game. So second and 10 at the 30, 55 seconds. It's him versus the clock right now. Vic, got to get rid of it. He may have sent six there. Curse has got a trifecta of sacks. Unblocked. And that clock is tick, tick, ticking away. With a third and 21 before him. Vic throws it to the middle, digs it out. Low ball to Tyreek there. Put it where only your wide receiver can get it. Leads him down there. Good job by Tyreek to catch that. Just semifinal number one. It is counting down, though. 15 seconds left in the ball game. You got to score on this play. And that'll do it. Goes is going to win this ball game by the score of 24 to 10. The reigning champion in the entire club championship, not only for the Redskins, has done it once again here in semifinal number one. He'll play in his second consecutive Redskins club championship. And for T Skins, I mean, he actually played pretty well. It's just some things didn't go his way, and you're going up against Goes, and you're not.